After that terrifying attack yesterday, the one person I wanted to hear from was Melania Trump. And today she gave us a statement with her press release. Obviously, Donald Trump is recovering from his injuries from the rally yesterday, but I want to read out the statement that Melania put out because the first thing that popped in my head was, we see everything happening with all the Obama putting out a statement, President Biden putting out a statement, and many other people in the media and in politics putting out statements. And I kept thinking, they're the last people I care to hear from because if anything, they would have wanted this. They provoked this and they've pushed for this for so long that if anything, they're probably sad today that he survived. So let me go ahead and read what Melania Trump put out. Now, she said, I am thinking of you now, my fellow Americans. We have always been a unique union. America, the fabric of our gentle nation, is tattered, but our courage and common sense must ascend and bring us back together as one. Agree with that statement wholeheartedly. When I watched that violent bullet strike my husband, Donald, I realized my life and Barron's life were on the brink of devastating change. I am grateful to have the brave serv Secret Service agents and law enforcement officials who risk their lives to protect my husband. To the families of the innocent victims who are now suffering from this heinous act, I humbly offer my sincere sympathy. You need to summon your inner strength for such a terrible reason saddens me. A monster who recognized my husband as an inhuman political machine attempted to wring out Donald's passion, his laughter, ingenuity, love of music, and inspiration. The core facets of my husband's life, his human side, were buried below the political machine. Donald, the generous and caring man who I have been with through the best of times and the worst of times, agreed. And I completely agree. What Melania Trump's PR team did there was humanize Trump, show that he is a person that likes music. He likes to um, laugh. He has in ingenuity, right? She's laying out all the details that make him human. And I think a lot of times people like to look at people that are political figures as inhumane. They're not human. They're not like us. But everyone that is in politics and media and mainstream will say, Donald Trump is is evil. He's they compared to him to Hitler. They've done all these things without even knowing him. Now it's strange to me because the people that actually know you should come out and say something right away. So this is why I was like, Melania Trump is gonna have to give a statement. And I'm sure the real reason why she took so long and it didn't happen yesterday was because she wanted to be thoughtful about what she put out. This proves to me that there is some real truth to what happened here yesterday. People are spreading rumors already and conspiracy theories saying it was fake. Guess what? Somebody lost their life yesterday. All right. Someone lost their life and the, the person that was the shooter lost their life. If this was some elaborate scheme, if this was some elaborate uh, political scheme, then it's really showing the timeline that we live on and the extreme corruption that goes on in the world of politics. And you should be worried about that more than the fact that, is it a scheme? Was this planned? All the world's a stage? Who cares? At this point, it just would say to me, either way, if it was fake or stage, we live in a fucking corrupt timeline if they have to go to this elaborate mechanism to get a person elected. Because... Trump doesn't need to do all of this, in my opinion. This is just my opinion. To, do, to get elected. He has a mega fan base. And this is why the left and the Democrats and Nancy Pelosi and the one that was fixing her wig constantly on screen, um, Maxine Waters, and all of them go so hard on calling him evil and calling him a racist and all the different slurs you can put out there against someone to to diminish them diminish them as a human this is what they have done for the last eight years quite literally and i don't know where this feud started from i don't know if when you look back at history if some of the things that have been going on has been some spiritual warfare some yin and yang going on between powerful entities in the background that we don't get to see but whatever is going on puppet or not I like to remember that these are people 
real people, and you should never call on the death of anyone, no matter how much you hate them. If you're doing that, you're not welcome to my channel, period. All right, let me finish the last. It looks like there's two more or three more paragraphs. She says, um, let us not forget the differing opinions, policy, and political games are inferior to love. Our personal, structural, and life commitment until death is at serious risk. Political concepts are simple when compared to us, human beings. We are all humans, and fundamentally, instinctively, we want to help one another. This is facts, unless you're some monster yourself, and you see this as a ha-ha, I'm glad he got, you know, attempted to be killed, that somebody should do this. If that's the way you're thinking, you're mentally deranged, and you need to go get your head checked. Okay, um, love, compassion, kindness, and empathy are necessities. And let us remember that when the time comes to look beyond the left and the right, beyond the red and the blue, we all come from families with the passion to fight for a better life together while we are here in this earthly realm. Very deep. Dawn is here again. Let us re re reunite now. This morning, ascend above the hate, the vitriol, and the simple-minded ideas that ignite violence. We all want a world where respect is paramount, family is first, and love transcends. We can realize this world again. Each of us must demand to get it back. I agree. We must insist that respect fills the cornerstone of our relationships again. I am thinking of you, my fellow Americans. The winds of change have arrived. For those of you who cry in support, I thank you. I commend those of you who have reached out beyond the political divide. Thank you for remembering that every single politician is a man or a woman with a loving family. I couldn't agree more. When we have reached a point in this country where we are willing to assassinate our political adversaries, okay? We have definitely reached the end, in my opinion. There should be so much outrage about this for a number of reasons. Anyone who wants to go into politics in the future is going to have to be weighing the risk and rewards of doing so. It does lend to the idea that more young people are gonna be apprehensive about going into this field. And it's the reason why I believe Melania Trump has tried to protect herself by seeming like she's not really pro her own husband at times. I mean, this picture of her smooching up Trudeau says a lot. She's done this with everyone. She tries her best to be diplomatic, to be kind to people, to shake their hands, to act regal and poised. And yet the media has screwed her over as well. The way that the media talks about her family and her and her putting up with Trump and, you know, when is Melania going to leave Trump and all the things, it's none of your freaking business. I know so many women of the past that have stayed with their husbands through the thick and thin of it. It's not called till death do you part for no fucking reason. If you're not willing to deal with the person with the best and the worst of them, then you don't deserve to be married and you certainly don't deserve to find love in my opinion. Because love transcends the hate. And that is why so many of you out there that love hating other people, you just enjoy it. You get on Twitter, you get on all these platforms and you just hate, hate, hate and call and use slurs and horrible things. You're going to live a miserable existence and you're definitely not going to age well. I could tell you that right now. Donald Trump yesterday having this incident happen, whether you want to say it's fake or not, should put you on high alert at where we're, we're at as mankind, as humans on this planet. We have lost our freaking way, people. We have lost our way. And we need to get back to common sense and what her statement was that she put out. And I hope you go look at it. It's, she posted it, I believe, on her, it's on her Twitter or Instagram. But read it and try to ask yourself, if this was your loved one, your family, wouldn't you be worried? Have a great day. Think for yourself.